What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, and without further ado, here at times Joe Rogan lost his temper with guests, live, Steven Crowder. Steven is a conservative political commentator and a comedian, and that made him qualified to appear on the Joe Rogan podcast. He showed his presence in 2015, and they both had a great conversation in the beginning. However, the conversation turned into a heated debate when Joe talked about marijuana. Even though Crowder stated that he did not want to talk about the topic of marijuana, Rogan took him as anti-legislative. Finally, things got clarified into an all-out argument. See, this is where well, I was saying it was, I don't hold care on, about don't this. interrupt me, you fuck. And they're high. See, because hold on, stop. No, no, hold on. You, a this is you, you interrupt way too much. No, no, you need to stop. You talk hold in on paragraphs. A no, 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 no. I don't talk about it. Let me make my point. Again, my point is I don't care about it. Yeah, you do. You will be flabbergasted to hear the fact that both persons had been drinking. But the JRE producer, Young Jamie, interrupted a few times to provide the sources that go in favor of Rogan's position. Jamie Kilstein In the case of Jamie Kilstein, they started talking about the conversation and sensitive topic about whether it was the right thing to make jokes about SA. Rogan stated that the worst crime is murdering someone. However, Kilstein said that there is a disgrace attached to being assaulted, and the victim lives their entire life with that trauma. This was one of the rarest moments in which Joe Rogan lost his temper and shouted at Kilstein while telling him that he was talking nonsense. Yeah. For the sake of honesty, the real issue came not just because of that, but because of your characterization. The of next the day. Yeah. Totally. So the next day... There's a video out about it that someone put together called the Kilstein Delusion. Yeah, and some of that shit was taken out of context. Some of that shit I will completely like own up to. As many old contentious opinions have been banned from social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Moreover, he had to leave Breitbart after the allegations that he's in favor of romantic relations between children and adults. He also said that Christianity influences the American and other cultures, but Rogan argued against that point and stated that there is more to cultural influence than its faith and religion. Things got heated when both were wrong at some point, but no one agreed to leave his position and accept the other's point of view. Candace Owens Global warming is a thing that everyone believes and there is no surprise in it. But guess what? Candace says that she does not believe in global warming. She further said that she was not informed about the topic, and Rogan argued that she should not give any opinion when she has not done her research. He further said that every scientist believes in global warming, and he did not give her a chance to argue. Yeah. Learn about it and then have an opinion, but you're stating this opinion without having any real understanding of right. what climate well, science yeah, cause, is. Cause it's, you and I just had a conversation. Yeah, but <laughs> why have an opinion on something that you don't have data about? This right. is my question. Like, yeah. I don't necessarily have an opinion on right. climate science. Brian Callen. Those people who watch this show regularly know that some guests have come on this show multiple times. Like two guests who are the former Ultimate Fighters, Brian Callen and Brendan Schaub. They are Joe's favorites as well. Whenever they appear on the show, they do different things like reviewing fights and so on. One time Brian went and went off on Schaub while claiming that he had been bullied for a year and he was not ready to listen to more rude statements from people anymore and tried to get into it with Schaub. I got bullied for a full year and it turned me into a fucking, if somebody tried to bully me, I'll show up at your fucking house and kill you. That's what happens. I get so angry. Let me Here's your this. problem. Here's your yeah. problem. You've talked to too many guys that let you say shit like that and then it becomes like vernacular. No, no. Becomes... Nick DiPaolo. People know Nick DiPaolo due to his strong political views. While on the show, Joe Rogan, the host, started discussing Hillary Clinton and the former president of the United States, Donald Trump. Rogan argued that Trump was a liar, but DiPaolo had a different opinion. He sarcastically undermined the sources, such as Washington Post. The guest argued that the media was twisting the words of the former president. He even asked about the definition of lying from Rogan. The arguments of DiPaolo could not really convince Rogan, and finally, he accused DiPaolo of resorting to whataboutism. To go to uh, go to Fox News and then put all, pull up an article of how many times Hillary was inaccurate. Do you know what a whataboutism is? A whataboutism? Yeah, when someone talks about something and instead of refuting it with facts, they go, yeah, well, what about Hillary? What about Bill? Bill did it too. What about this? What about that? Adam Conover. Adam Conover is famous but controversial as well due to his series, Adam Ruins Everything, which seeks to challenge commonly held notions. The transgender issue is a pretty sensitive topic, but Rogan is never afraid to talk about these issues when he thinks it's necessary. When they both started talking about this topic, Adam made his point that there should be genetic confirmation and hormone therapy for children who are unaware of who they are. Rogan countered that this therapy would give all the powers to parents 
and once the therapy is done, it can't be reversed. You're making this leap to confirm that you know you're 100 percent cool with trans people, and you're and you you're going to recognize this child as trans. But you're doing something this child's body that you can't turn around. If this child decides at whatever age we decide that you can make rational decisions to transition as trans, let them fully develop first. In addition, the rate of transgenders will still be on the same level even after doing all that. The good thing is that Joe at least talked about this topic, which showed that he cares about it. Brian Redman While being on any kind of show, you need to follow some rules of etiquette. For instance, self-promotion is okay, but you should not cross the limits. However, Brian ignored this rule and promoted himself more in his comedic standing. Brian is a stand-up comedian and he loves to come up on shows where he can make jokes. But at some point he started getting out of the topic and Rogan wasn't happy about it. And they began to argue with each other. You will be surprised to hear that Rogan's arguments forced Brian to leave the show. And Rogan did not request him to come back. Brian Dunning and Mark Gordon after being on the show, Gordon started discussing a miracle supplement that would help people not get drunk. After hearing that for the first time, Joe laughed so hard and said that it was bull, but then he accepted the fact that he's not a medical expert. He gave his blessings to this supplement. Another medical professional, Brian Dunning, appeared on the show and argued with Joe for not supporting Gordon and calling him a liar. As Dunning made his case, it was clear just how bad Joe messed up. You might think that Joe was right at that point. Actually, there are many doctors that claim that miracle pills and diet aids exist. However, there is no proof that these pills work. There is snake oil, and if a tablet came along, that would not allow you to get drunk. Joey Diaz Now, in this case, both Joe Rogan and the guest, who is an actor and a comedian, lost their temper. But guess what? Joey Diaz became more offensive than Rogan. While the talking style and a few words of Joey Diaz might look a bit odd to many people, but that's usual for a Cuban-American. While discussing political correctness, he went to a triad about how he does not care about it. He's too old and not interested in changing his mentality, and the knowledge is deeply rooted in his mind. Although the name of his upcoming album was not acceptable at all, Rogan did not go too far in this case because he understood his point that he did not name the album. I put on an album, and again, I'm very sorry if I offend somebody. I didn't name it this, he did. So take your fucking problem up with him. Name of the album is Bicentennial. I put it on, I listened to it twice, and I did an edible and cried. I've got the Periscope listening to Richard. Eddie Bravo. Despite being a martial artist and creating his own style of jujitsu, Eddie Bravo is famous for his hysterical and insane ramblings in the Joe Rogan experience. Bravo is a conspiracy philosopher and one of the supporters of the Flat Earth Theory. This belief made Joe uncomfortable and he rejected Bravo's beliefs and his sources of information, and the theory as well. Ultimately, he said Bravo's beliefs were insane. This is so ridiculous. Let me see it, Jamie. Watch. Come on. Let me see the video. Which one? Watch Tesla in space. Fucking. I know the Tesla it's a in four space. and a half hour video. Which oh, no, no, just get a short one. I'm trying to find the one that's from SpaceX we so just... that it's... We could just abandon this subject. <laughs> so fruitless. I just, you know what? There's no wonder when it comes to Joe. We can only describe him as an eccentric, devoted, and hyperactive person. The astonishing fact about his podcast is that he can talk on any controversial topic and even stretches the talk when the guests are trying to dodge or run away from the questions. Joe is not afraid to take on the guests, even if that troubles him later. That's all for today's video, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comment section down below. And while you're here, click to watch one of these two videos appearing on your screen right now. I'll see you there. Take care and stay tuned.